Good news, the New York Jets have signed Alan Lazard. According to multiple reports, the New York Jets are adding Lazard to a four-year deal worth $44 million. Now, $22 of that million dollars is guaranteed money. And this seemed like a natural fit for the New York Jets, one of the better wide receivers on the market for the Jets, or just for any team in general. And, you know, it's kind of crazy. People thought Roger Kobe Myers and Alan Lazard could be getting $15-plus million a year. That hasn't been the case. These guys have been much more around the $10 million mark, much more affordable. And originally, according to Mike Garofalo, the New York Jets were originally offering Alan Lazard less than $10 million a year. It was negotiated up to essentially $11 million a year. But still, I think that is a worthwhile price point on someone who is going to be a starting outside receiver, which is something that they needed. Now, is he technically their number one receiver? No, obviously Garrett Wilson is. Uh, and Elijah Moore moves to the slot. So you would imagine that this means starting on the other side is Lazard, who uh, is a cheap is cheaper than Corey Davis. Davis' is AAV was uh, $12.5 million, and cutting him, which ultimately I think this means that Corey Davis is going to get cut. I don't think there is really any other option for the New York Jets. Uh, or, you know, moving on from him, freeing up that ten point five million, uh, and you're just pretty much tacking on, at least AAV wise, uh, five hundred thousand onto it. That's there's no guarantee. That's what the cap number is going to be. It's probably going to be a little bit lower than the eleven million, to be honest with you. Uh, he's also a healthier version, and he is younger. He's a good red zone threat. He's a great, great blocker, by the way. One of his biggest strengths is how he is able to block, which um, is important. I know people don't want to hear it, but in a offense that is very run heavy, uh, that's a West Coast offense, uh, and they run a lot of wide zone, having a big wide receiver on the outside who can block matters. So I think this is a no-brainer. It's a fit. Plus, I mean, the connection to Aaron Rodgers, and we found out earlier today that Aaron Rodgers had a list a wish list, not a demand list. It was clarified by Deanna Rossini, who, again, has done a really nice job covering this story for, well, everyone, but I was going to say for the New York Jets, but but for everyone. Uh, he's put up 788 yards, six touchdowns, eight, uh, and had eight touchdowns in 2021. But he was on that list. There was a couple other people, too. It was Lazard, Randall Cobb, uh, Mercedes Lewis, and also Odell Beckham Jr. We'll go through each one of those guys because it all kind of ties together. This was the first domino to fall. So Alan Lazard is the first domino on that list. Cobb, people I see getting up in arms about Randall Cobb, but he's going to be a Braxton replacement. So wide receiver five. We're really going to lose sleep over paying $2 million for Aaron Rodgers' friend, Alan Lazard, who he's comfortable with. He's young. He's not younger. He's cheaper than Braxton Barrios. And like, it's fine. He's had some clutch catches on third down. He's not the guy that he once was. No one's saying that he is. But give him 25 tar, 25 receptions on the year or something like that. He's not going to be a huge player on this team. Mercedes Lewis is tight end four. Going to be a veteran minimum guy. I know he's a million years old. It doesn't like those are so minuscule that it shouldn't be keeping you from saying, you know, I, I don't want Aaron anymore because he's wanting those guys. It's it's stupid. It's depth guys on your roster that he wants to have some say in. What's the big deal? The Odell one is different because of the projected cost. He wants 15 to $20 million a year, which seems insane for someone who didn't play last year and is coming off two ACL injuries in the last three seasons. When he's healthy and he's on the field, he's a very good player. Are you tying 15 plus million dollars to Odell Beckham Jr.? I personally don't think that is a wise thing to do. Right now, that's not the story. Right now, the story is that the New York Jets were able to land Alan Lazard, which could be the first domino to fall, which makes the Aaron Rodgers story happen. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts on Alan Lazard signing. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Matt. I'll catch you next time. Go Jets.